Welcome back after the last segment. So if you're ready to invest in some of these new products and that motivated you, we have, and you want to maybe update your beauty yeah. routine, but you're not quite sure on which products to get. Well, don't worry, Karen Harris, she's going to come back. She's going to show us a few of her favorite products. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were actually just talking about brushes. Yes. The importance of brushes. Let's start with that one. Yeah, so I actually just bought a few that I used today. <laughs> I kind of... I tried to bring some clean ones too, just to like, you know, allude to the fact that mm -hmm. my brushes are always clean, but yeah. Yeah. they're not. And I tried to prioritize because we were talking about skincare and a lot of people's brushes kind of look like this and they look like this for years and years and years. So one of the big things, if you're noticing acne mm -hmm. um, building up on your face, the first thing I would say is swap out your brushes, clean them, mm -hmm. and you don't have to spend a ton of money. You can get some really good brushes at the drugstore. Real Techniques is one of my favorite drugstore price um, brush brands. They kind of look like this. I'm sure if you're at Target, you would have seen these like a hundred times over. And then another really great brand is Sigma, and they're actually based out of Minnesota. Oh, awesome. And yeah, it's been so cool because every once in a while I get lucky and people send me stuff in the mail to yeah. try out. Aww. <laughs> try out. So they're, they're a brand I've been working with for a, over a year now. And uh, they have these really nice brush bundles and you kind of get a little bit of everything. Um, and they're totally worth investing in. They have like a two year warranty, which is also nice. So if something happens, they replace them and things That's like amazing. that. So yeah, I love just talking about brushes because they really help your makeup game. And if you see my makeup room, because I have a whole room <laughs> of makeup Lucky girl. in my house. <laughs> And I just have a ton of eyeshadow mm -hmm. brushes because each shape does something different for your mm -hmm. eyes. And I never usually go in with just one color. I have to use like at least two or three <laughs> to get my right. eyes going. So yeah, there's a lot of different things. What are your thoughts on beauty blenders? Oh, they're wonderful. Yeah, I go back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, some, I think some people like to use them dry, but typically you want to wet them and like wring them out a little bit, but also you have to wash them every time you I use, use a them. wedge. I still use a wedge. Yeah. But you just gotten into the... Not too drop. wet, just kind yeah. of dry mm -hmm. it out. Ring it, ring it out. And I did use it today too, and there's lots of great alternatives to mm -hmm. the Beauty Blender as well, because it's a $20 sponge, so it's yeah. quite the investment mm -hmm. if you are replacing them pretty often, but yeah. I love them. <laughs> so I'd love to kind of talk about, obviously you have some gorgeous products here. Your makeup itself is beautiful. Where do you go to get them? There's a lot of options in Fargo Moorhead, but where yes. do you prefer to go? Yeah, I, I'm like still shocked that we all of a sudden ended up with like three Sephora stores. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, when the Sephora opened in the yeah. mall, I was like, is this real life? <laughs> like, I <laughs> love it so much. So I kind of go to different places for different things. Um, I feel like Alta and Sephora have a lot of brands that they share, but then Sephora has um, some other brands that I like, like Natasha Denona, Pat mm -hmm. McGrath. I'm such a like variety person, so I love indie makeup. There's like a whole sure. scene of like indie makeup brands that make really sparkly eyeshadows and really colorful eyeshadows. This is like really tame for me today. Oh, I'm yes. usually wearing like all we'll the have colors. some information for how you can watch more Karen Harris <laughs> yeah. at the end of this interview and please do because you have like flamingo colors and yes. like you're in Miami and yeah. it's so fun. I just love it. What about I, some options for people on a budget? Yes. So drugstore is a great option. Uh, brands like Elf, they mm -hmm. carry a lot yes. of different things. Um, really wide varieties of like foundation lines now because before you'd go to the drugstore and you get like 10 foundations and even me I had such mm -hmm. a hard time finding a color match because mm -hmm. a lot of foundations are like that orange so yeah. it's a little harder with the drugstore because you can't test something out mm -hmm. but I mean we're lucky because we have great return policies so if something doesn't work out for you I mean I don't think you should feel bad taking something back if it doesn't work for you and yeah. does what you want. But I love to read the labels because it tells you if the foundation's hydrating, mm -hmm. if it's more for oily skin. And I feel like that's a big thing that people struggle with is just like they're wearing the wrong kind of foundation yeah. and then they're like, I look so cakey. And then the whole thing just, you know, you want to give up on it. So I don't know. Yeah. I like, I love makeup, obviously. Well, <laughs> so. Boat season for me and my <laughs> eyes. I just keep thinking about it because I'm ready to, to get out there to Detroit Lakes. But when it comes to bronzer, because yes. the sun's not quite out yet, yeah. what are your thoughts on oh that? Oh my gosh, I love bronzer. I have to wear it every single day. But is and there ever too much? I mean, with skin tones, <laughs> I guess that's, you know, you... 
<laughs> That's a good question. I don't know, you guys. I think you can just pack it on. I think me and Anna were talking behind the scenes, and mm -hmm. she was asking me about contouring, and I was like, you oh, know, yes. I That's feel right. like people still like definitely do contour, but for mm -hmm. me, I feel like there's a way bigger shift into like bronzing now, yeah. and um, not so much like carving everything out, but giving yourself like that really sun-kissed look. Yeah. yeah. So I've actually been loving this this is like sold out but i managed to grab one because obviously uh, it's easier to find like brown skin stuff right. at uh, in fargo so i got lucky and so this rare beauty uh bronzer stick is so nice it's super creamy it's so easy to blend and then you just shoop shoop and you blend it in and you're yeah, and glowing you for days you're yes well, i have yeah. so many more questions but we're gonna have to talk during the break we'll, we'll be right back. back with the today show <laughs>